Pirates still looking to get organized. Tristan Newton had 18 points yesterday in East Carolina's win over Evansville. The 6'5 true freshman guard from El Paso. Jasheer Hardnett not able to get in the right position there. Jaden Gardner scores. Gardner had a tournament best 28 points yesterday for East Carolina. One of just two returning pieces for Joe Dooley's team. Jordan Giles got bumped hard from the seven footer Charles Coleman. From Kansas City, Brandon McKissick just entered the game. Number three in white for the Ruse. Good strip from Jaden Gardner. J.J. Miles in the game for East Carolina. Pulls up. Hit the top of the backboard, and Jaden Gardner has free throws coming from the floor as we welcome you back to the Islands of the Bahamas Showcase. Sam Hyman with you on Flow Hoops. Jaden Gardner at the free throw line. Gardner, who has that bizarre free throw stroke where he jumps. Something you rarely see at this level, but hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. He was phenomenal. 12 of 13 from the free throw line yesterday. Makes one of two there. Gardner had 28 points for Kansas City, his first year. He was an assistant coach at Northwestern from 2017 to 2019. Did not overlap with Milwaukee's head coach, Pat Baldwin. Jaden Gardner earns a trip to the line. Major line change here for East Carolina. Charles Coleman, Tristan Newton, and Tyree Jackson all return. Josiah Alec enters the game for Kansas City, number 20. Gardner ties this game at 10 in the championship, and the loser will play at five o'clock in the third place game against Rice. Great steal from Rob Whitfield. Jaden Gardner, that's basically his range. I was talking to a couple of East Carolina folks before this game, and they said Jaden Gardner plays six feet and in. Trips the midcourt line, eight to shoot. Brandon McKissick, what a take, but too strong and a foul. Bread and butter. They don't shoot a lot of threes. They like to pound it inside. Swatted away. Javen White, a man block. That's the fourth of the game for the Roos. Rob Whitfield has 16 to lead all scores. Kansas City. In this first half. Seth Lede, hook shot. Gardner, one-handed putback. Oh, wave it off. Gardner shoved his man, and he is tagged with a foul. That's his second. Javen White catches off the deflection. Knocked away. Jaden Gardner, who had just five points in the first half after a 28-point outburst yesterday in the victory over Evansville. Javen White in the corner. Marvin Nesbitt. Zion Williams, you're a step in the lane and a blocking foul call. Goes against Jaden Gardner. That's the third on Gardner. Tyree Jackson, good ball fake. Jackson attacks, 
just all out of control. Blocked. Marvin Nesbitt got a piece. And with two on the shot clock, we have a foul on the floor. Well, all D2, all D1 schools in this tournament, and so far they took care of business yesterday against George Washington, and right now they're handling their own against East Carolina. Time and time again for what they did. Tyree Jackson. East Carolina, not a three-point shooting team. And two of 11 from beyond the arc in this game. Jaden Gardner trying to get a paint touch and he's fouled. One of two returners for East Carolina on a very new squad. Gardner last year did everything for this East Carolina team. Led the team in 11, 11 statistical categories, including points. Second team all AAC selection this year. Fortunately, there is some fresh talent on this East Carolina team, the likes of Tristan Newton and Brandon Suggs that have helped carry the load, but it has been a Jaden Gardner show for a year plus. He's still that man. Jaden Gardner finally took him a long time to get a bucket. Just his second field goal, seven points for Gardner. The workhorse. Tristan Newton down the lane. Unselfish right there, and that's what Newton does best. He had five assists yesterday, and a win over Evansville. Nice find inside. Javen White, strong. That was contested, though. Jackson. Dump off. Brandon Suggs. 13-point game. Newton finds Jaden White and wave it off. Offensive foul on the Pirates. Jaden White credited with it. It's his fourth personal. So the team's leading scorer coming in. Has to take a seat with 8.08 to play. Tyree Jackson. Offensive foul. 